I didn't make it in 1963, but I made it and I'm glad I made it. I'm so happy. If I die today, tomorrow, I made this. I made this one. I didn't come in 1963, but I'm here now and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> As the I Have a Dream speech came on and Mahalia Jackson was singing and all of the other orators, were, we were looking at the, the promise of what America is, you know, the green hills and the deep valleys and the beautiful water and, you know, all of those things that are, are uh, a part of nature, yet knowing that we were doing that as second-class citizens. It was an amazing experience because it was such a mobilization and I was uh, 19 or 20 at the time, 19 I guess. I had driven all the way from Yellow Springs, Ohio, Antioch College's campus, I had trouble finding a place to park the car, finally found a place and laid down on the mall to get some sleep and next thing I knew I was waking up to King giving this famous oration when the whole world uh, it would become a speech that would rock the whole world the way it was delivered was just extraordinary and it was galvanizing for everybody around I felt I was making history Everybody remembers Dr. S Dr. King's speech, but it really represented, I think, the spirit of everybody who came from every different corner of those, you know, of the country and the world. He said later that his speech was not complete, but he looked uh, out on the crowd and things that he had been teaching earlier just began to flow through him and the speech became the great, you know, the great oratory that we now have. This was a man that was a man of the world. He was a global citizen, but of utter humility. I mean, you talk to King and you, King made you feel like you were the important one, not him. <laughs> 